Now in this segment, we will see some miscellaneous examples on Fourier transform. Sure, a statement is given as an LTI system in a form of differential equation is given and we have to find first its impulse response and we have to find response of the system if the input is changed. Response is nothing but output signal. Now whenever we will get such kind of examples which are given in a form of differential equation first term we have to simplify them using differentiation in time domain property. Now to find h of t which is in time domain I can use one set of equation which is available to us as impulse response in frequency domain will be the ratio of output by input. Now once you obtain the h of j omega we can take its inverse Fourier transform that holds h of t. Now in order to simplify this we will apply Fourier transform to the given equation. We know by using time differentiation property as differentiation of any input signal will be equals to multiplication with j omega. Now let us apply this to the given equation. Here the order is 2. So we will get j omega whole square into y of t is 4 here as y of j omega plus 6 into j omega into y of j omega plus 8 into y of t is Fourier transform as y of j omega which is equals to 2 times x of t is Fourier transform as x of j omega. Now I am collecting the terms of y of j omega we will get this equation j omega whole square plus 6 j omega plus 8 into y of j omega will be 2 times x of j omega. Now let us divide y by x. So the division holds y of j omega by x of j omega will be equals to 2 times or 2 divided by j omega whole square plus 6 j omega plus 8. Now this division is nothing but impulse response in frequency domain as h of j omega. Now in order to take its inverse Fourier transform we have to simplify this term. This is given in a form of quadratic equation. So you can find roots of 8 that will be 2 and 4 because 2 into 4 will be 8 and their addition will be 6. So this equals to 2 upon 2 plus j omega first root second 4 plus j omega. Now the denominator is in multiplication form so we can apply partial fraction expansion. Now in order to apply the partial fraction expansion here it is we will write the terms one more time as h of j omega will be 2 upon 2 plus j omega into 4 plus j omega which I can write as a by 2 plus j omega plus b upon 4 plus j omega. Now let us simplify this and we will find the constant terms as a and b. So in order to simplify this term we will write 2 plus j into 4 plus j omega as it is which will be equals to a into 4 plus j omega plus b into 2 plus j omega upon this product of as 2 plus j into 4 plus j. Definitely the denominator will get cancelled. Now let us find a and b simultaneously. So in case of a I am writing it here to find a b should be 0. B becomes 0 provided that this product will be 0. So j omega definitely we have to consider as minus 2. So we will put j omega as minus 2. So this will be 2 is equals to a into 4 minus 2 plus b is 0. So we are left with plus 2. 2 2 will get cancelled and our first constant term will be 1. Similarly to find b a should be 0 and it is possible only if j omega will be minus 4. So we will put j omega as minus 4 
will get 2 is equals to a will be 0 this is 2 minus 4 so this will be minus 2 this terms will get cancelled and we'll get b is equals to minus 1 now once you got those values we'll put them in this equation so that this becomes equals to a upon 2 plus g omega minus 1 upon 4 plus g omega now this is our h of g omega so if i take its inverse that is taking inverse Fourier transform we know that h of g omegas inverse will be h of t and inverse of this will be e raised to minus 2t into u of t similarly minus e raised to minus 4t into u of t now from where this arises so we have seen that example also as Fourier of exponential term will be 1 upon a plus g omega if it is there its inverse will be e raised to minus 8 into u of t only the term of a becomes 2 and 4 in this case so this is the answer of first question as h of t now we'll proceed to the second question that is given the question is what is the response if input is changed now friends once the response or operation is defined it will not be changed only the term is input is going to be changed means what in this case our h of t is fixed now the input is going to be changed and in accordance with these two terms we have to find response that is output term so we can check this term here x of t is given e raised to minus 2t into u of t now again in order to find y of t we can use the same set of equation as h of j omega is the ratio of output by input now we have to find y therefore y of j omega becomes product of h of j into x of j omega now we have already the set of h of j omega as well as x of j omega we will simply put them so that this equation hold h of j omega we have got this value already we have that term as 1 by 2 plus j omega minus 1 by 4 plus j omega this is multiplied with x of j omega is ka Fourier transform ho jayega 1 upon 2 plus j omega so this is 1 upon 2 plus j omega now we will multiply this term so this will be 1 by 2 plus j omega whole square minus 1 upon 2 plus j omega into 4 plus j omega now only the cases we have to simplify this term again and we should go to the value of y of t so let us see this one now in order to simplify we have to concentrate on this term again applying partial fraction expansion so you can write 1 by 2 plus j into 4 plus j will be a by 2 plus j plus b by 4 plus j omega so simplification holds a 4 plus j plus b into 2 plus j omega denominator will definitely get cancelled this term will be cancelled and we are left with 1 a is equals to a 4 plus j plus b 2 plus j omega now to find a we should assume j omega as minus 2 so if i put minus 2 here this will be 0 and 4 minus 2 will be 2 so i am writing directly a becomes equals to 1 by 2 similarly to find b a should be 0 that means j omega we have to assume as minus 4 so this will be 1 is equals to i can get this value as minus 1 by 2 so we got a and b in a simultaneous way now let us put those values in the given equation we will get y of j omega as 1 by 2 plus j omega square minus this term will be 1 by 2 into 2 plus j omega 
minus 1 by 2 into 4 plus geometry. I have kept those values in directly form. Now we can take its inverse Fourier transform that will be y of t. Now this is the square term and the square terms also will be equals to this is t e raised to minus 80 into q of t. So we will get this as t into e raised to minus 2t into u of t minus 1 by 2 e raised to minus 2t into u of t this is minus 1 by 2 this will be plus now minus minus plus e raised to minus 4t into u of t so how you got this answer you can check in previous video we have solved such kind of examples also and this is going to be our output response as y of t thank you